Shanghai, for 24 hours this weekend, China shopped online like it had never shopped before. The scale and the method, 25.3 billion US dollars in purchases, 90% made via mobile phone, could change the way the world shops. On Saturday, Australia was the third biggest overseas source of the products bought. The Double Eleven Festival was devised eight years ago by Alibaba as Singles Day, and at a Valentine's Day of big discounts at its e-commerce malls. But the world's biggest online shopping event is best known in Australia for catapulting Australian vitamin and milk powder brands into the fortune-making Chinese market. Double Eleven far outgrew its origins this year, as sales leapt 39% compared to 2016. Alipay Alibaba's digital payments arm, processed 1.48 billion payment transactions, up 41%, a sign of how Chinese shoppers have dumped cash to use their mobile phone as a wallet. The Chinese railway put on extra bullet trains to assist the delivery of 812 million parcels, such as the Chinese shoppers' expectation of fast delivery. The warm-up was a four-hour televised concert with international singers Jessie J and Will Ferrell. Actress Zhang Ziyi, Crouching Tiger, and tennis star Maria Sharapova. Nicole Kidman appeared just before midnight, as the sale started, introducing Alibaba's founder Jack Ma, in his own kung fu film. But the TV coverage was secondary to what really drives Chinese consumers, live streaming and online influencers. Vitamin brand Swiss took Chinese actress Fan Bingbing to a glitzy Shanghai shopping mall where the fans crowded five stories take photos to share on social media. It worked Swiss, taken over by a Chinese company in 2015, emerged as the top-selling product on Double Eleven. Blackmores pushed a million banner ads to Huawei mobile phone users and erected a billboard in Times Square, New York. But Blackmores Asia Managing Director Peter Osborne says its centerpiece was a three-hour live stream with a female online influencer in Alibaba's mall. For Bidery Beef, an abattoir from Iverell in New South Wales, the aim was not so much a sales boost but to put its name in front of a couple of million people. It has been the hottest event in China for the last five years. This is an opportunity where we can create a big awareness, says Bidery's commercial chief for China, Ambrose Chung. Bidery sold a 51% stake to Chinese company Shimeo Property and wants to increase e-commerce sales to Chinese consumers from 10% of its business to a third. Alibaba Australia Managing Director Maggie Jo says Australia is the best performing country for selling vitamins and beef to Chinese consumers on Tamil. As Double Eleven ticked on Saturday, an international media centre had the appearance of a casino, with glowing numbers spinning across the big screen as the sales clocked up in real time, breaking ever more records. Touch screens produce data, by Chinese city, of the age profile and gender of the biggest shoppers. And the cumulative parcels mileage, 114 million kilometers, at 11.08 pm. Alibaba says this is its core business, big data.